Hi, I'm Kim Adams. I'm a busy mom of four children and a journalist whose child has personally received care here at the Children's Hospital of Michigan. I don't know about you, but when my child is sick, I want every bit of information I can get to help them feel better. This pediatric medical moment is intended to give parents more information about pediatric health issues from the experts right here at the Children's Hospital of Michigan, where everything they know and everything they do is just for children. Hi, I'm Kim Adams. In today's Pediatric Medical Moment, we're talking about sudden cardiac arrest in children and adolescents. We've all seen the heartbreaking stories of when a young boy suddenly dies on the football field or the basketball court. Could it have been prevented? And could it happen to your child? Each year, nearly 6,000 children in the U.S. experience sudden cardiac arrest or loss of heart function. Only 6% survive. Medical staff member Dr. Pooja Gupta explains the causes. Sudden cardiac death in younger age group can be due to multiple reasons. We can divide them as the ones that are structural or anatomical reason, primary electrical problem, related to drugs or medications, and um, the last one may be trauma. When we hear news of a teenage athlete suddenly dying on the field, the cause is often something called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So cardiomyopathy is a heart muscle disease, and hypertrophic means thick. So this is a condition where patient's heart muscle is really thick. What are some of the symptoms of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? Things to look for would be a strong family history of having sudden death in a young family member, a young family member requiring a defibrillator. Uh, it might be chest pain with exertion in the child or um, a heart murmur auscultated on exam uh, during a physical. It can even be a passing out episode or a near passing out episode with exertion specifically or the ones that are not explained. So how does a parent know if their child is at risk for sudden cardiac arrest? Should EKGs be part of a regular sports physical? Currently, um, based on the American Heart Association guidelines, EKG is not a part of routine screening. EKGs are done only if there is a strong family history um, of cardiac disease or if there are any symptoms related to the heart or if the exam is abnormal. According to Dr. Gupta, knowing your family's history is an important step to help doctors identify a potential problem with your child's heart. Also, make sure your child's school has an emergency plan, complete with an AED and someone trained to use it at all sporting events. And finally, teenagers are not the best communicators and the communication system between parents and teenage should be strong so that um, the kids are able to communicate if they are experiencing any symptoms on the ground while playing. Also, there should be no pressure on them to perform um, beyond their capabilities um, because in that case they might not mention about symptoms that are occurring with activity. Um, and then if the, if the children have complaints, that should be taken as seriously and um, reported to the primary care physician who might send them to a cardiologist. Thanks so much for watching this pediatric medical moment about sudden cardiac arrest in children. If you have concerns about your child's cardiac health or any other health concerns, you can always make an appointment with one of our pediatric specialists here at the Children's Hospital of Michigan by calling 313-745-KIDS or you can continue to check out the Wonder Blog at childrensdmc.org.